Hi, I'm Nancy Martinez, and I'm the director here at Lindbush Roses of Marketing and the Independent Retail Customer Channel. And welcome to LBR Talks, where we share nuggets on business and leadership to help you enhance and elevate your business. So on today's episode, we welcome back Jeff Marone, our president here at Lindbush Roses, and he tackles the myth on, I can do this faster if I do it myself and really teaches us the power and the reasons why to delegate. So help me welcome Jeff, and let's get to the episode. Hi, and welcome to LBR Talks. I'm Nancy Martinez, I'm your host here, and I am the Director of Marketing and the Independent Retail Floral Channel here at Lembush Roses, and with me today is our president, Jeff Marone. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Nancy. Great to be here again. Yeah. And today we're going to talk about delegation. And this is a really good one. And I think I, coming back, coming from being a retail store owner and being a person of one to start with, and then adding people to my team, that responsibility to delegate some tasks is really not that easy or it can be difficult. Yeah. Why, why would I, why should we consider making an effort to do it? Yeah, yeah I agree. And I, and I think it's un, more universal than uh, a small business owner, a retail owner. I think it's, it's a tendency that lots of leaders have, which is I've done this. I'm really good at it. The time it's going to take me to teach Nancy how to do it, I can get it done, and I have my own way of doing it, my own expectations of what it looks like, and uh, I, maybe I don't trust that, that others could get it done the same way that I would and to the same quality. So I'm going to keep doing that. I, and I think you're right. I hear that a lot. It's going to take me longer to teach someone how to do it, but in reality, if it's something that you do over and over again, it's time well spent. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, we're all busy. I think that that capacity is real, and mm -hmm. I like to flip that on its head and say, well, why am I cheating somebody off, uh, from the opportunity to learn something that I've been doing and share it that way? So it can be a developmental opportunity that mm. that has benefits of helping an employee feel more engaged, take on some responsibility that the boss, so to speak, used to have. And then from uh, the supervisor standpoint, it's Freeing up time and creating coaching opportunities um, so that I can focus my time on other things. I, I really like what you said when you said it's a developmental opportunity. And I think, I think that's right. I mean, not only does it clear from your plate, but you are. You're giving opportunity for someone to learn and to grow and to become more of an asset to, to you and, and to themselves, I guess. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And there's a couple ways we can go about it. I think there's a, there's a delegate and elevate uh, checklist or template, and, and I can share the details on that as we close here. Mm -hmm. but it's really about what am I good at, what do I love doing, and kind of ranking all my tasks. How do I spend my time each day, week, month? What makes the biggest difference? And then what are those things that I'm okay at that I really don't like or that I'm not good at and I don't like? That's the easiest place to start. Look at that list, take those lower priorities, see who on the team is uh, ready, willing, and able to take those on and, and free me up from those tasks. Yeah, so what you're doing by doing that is you're really leveraging your strengths and taking off your the plate of your stuff, the things that someone else can do. Yeah, I appreciate the way you characterize that. I'm a big fan of let's leverage our strengths and that's where a lot of value creation comes. So individuals who love what they're doing and are good at it, have that passion for it, results are tremendous. If we don't love it and we're, we gotta do it. So what if it is something that I, I really love to do, I'm good at it, but my time probably could be used better mm -hmm. served doing maybe a more important task. Yeah. How do you how do you get yourself to give that up? What's the mindset that I need to do instead of 
holding it in and being a control freak maybe. Yeah, I think it's what you said earlier is that this is a recurring task that is always going to take me time. That if it takes me twice as long to train somebody else to do it, and then we're off and running and I save that incremental time each time I'm not doing it, that's a win. And I also would want to reinforce that uh, I am now affording the opportunity for somebody to pick up something that's important for the business and, and run with it. I think that's really great, Jeff. And I think as a simple of a topic, again, we're not, we're not doing any mind-blowing conversations here. It's the simple things that are going to achieve and help you get better results. And so delegation, I think, is just as simple as it is. It's mm -hmm. so powerful. So thanks for speaking to it. Sure thing. And another resource, Deep Dive, if someone wants to learn how to or the more the whys on and we should do that. What can we? What can we? Sure. Do? There's a book called "How to Be a Great Boss" by Renee Bohr and Gina Wickman, uh, and it has the delegate and elevate tool in there, and it's got some more context around how to get started, make that list, figure out what the opportunities are, and and go. Yeah, I've seen that tool. Great tool. Great for you to check out. Um, we're going to have the link below, so you can go ahead and click on that, um, as well as a comment area. As always, please share. Let us know what uh, what's going well here. Um, things that you might want to topics that you might want to hear. We're we're open to uh, sharing with you. Um, thanks again, Jeff, for coming. Thank you. And thank you for um, again tuning in to LBR Talks. Until next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I really the nugget I really liked was when Jeff said that delegating really gives your employees the opportunity to learn and grow. So if you don't do that, you're really robbing them from that. And plus, by the way, let's be real. We all have so much on our plate that if we can just try and do some of the things he suggested, I think we'll be better off. And as you know, I love quotes. And so this one this week is from Andrew Carnegie on delegation. And he says, no person will make a great business who wants to do it all himself or get all the credit. So go ahead and share that, post it, print it, put it on your bulletin board. Um, I think it's a great one for us to keep in front of us and remember as we learn to delegate more. Thank you again for coming. Thank you for embracing LBR Talks and being with us. Until next time.